In this video, we will discuss about experiment on series LCR circuit. We will discuss basically on frequency response graph, impedance at resonance, the bandwidth and quality factor. What is a series uh, LCR circuit? In a series LCR circuit, a resistor, uh, an uh, inductor and a capacitor are connected in series. The voltmeter is connected in parallel and milliameter is connected in series. The input sine wave is given here. What is resonance? For capacitor, the reactance Xc is equal to 1 by omega C, that is equal to 1 by twice pi Fc. For inductor, uh, Xl, that is the inductive reactance, Xl is equal to omega L, which is equal to twice pi Fl. So if you increase the frequency F, then Xc or the capacitor reactance, this increases. If you decrease the value of F, the capacitance, the uh, reactance of the capacitor will uh, increase. But if you uh, decrease the value of F, the inductor reactance will decrease. That means if the frequency of the given uh, input signal or input sine wave will increase, the uh, capacitor reactance decreases and inductor reactance increases. So at a particular frequency, what happens? Xc becomes equal to Xl and this is called the resonant frequency. And for LCR circuit, the current Im maximum current is equal to Vm maximum voltage divided by Z or impedance. Impedance Z is equal to R square plus Xc minus Xl whole square square root and uh, at resonance Xc equal to Xl so Im will be equal to Vm divided by R. So this shows that impedance Z is minimum at resonance. The frequency at which amplitude of current is maximum is called resonant frequency. This is the frequency response curve for series LCR circuit. You take in X axis frequency of the sine wave and in the Y axis you take the current. You see the range of frequency in our experiment is from 100 Hz to 100 kHz and the maximum current is 25 milliampere. So you see we will see that in the experiment when the frequency of the sine wave will increase, the current will gradually increase and at a particular frequency, the current will be maximum, that is Im and that frequency is called resonant frequency and at resonance frequency, Xc will be equal to Xm. Again, if you increase the frequency, what will, what will happen? The current will gradually decreases like this. So in the experiment, you will take a fixed value of capacitor and a fixed value of the resistor. If you uh, change the resistor, suppose you uh, decrease the value of resistor R. If you decrease the value of resistor R, since current is equal to voltage divided by resistance, so current peak will decrease. If R will increase, then I will decrease. So you will get a graph like this. So what is impedance at resonance? Since at resonance Xc is equal to Xl, impedance at resonance Z is very small and the circuit is basically a resistive circuit. So the impedance is equal to the value of resistance connected in the circuit. Then how you can calculate the bandwidth? If you draw a line in, the, in this frequency response curve, if you draw a line I m divided by root 2, suppose you get the maximum value of the current is equal to 20 milliampere, then you have to take a value 20 divided by root 2 
and you have to draw a line here so if you draw a line parallel to the frequency axis then you will get two values of frequencies one at f1 and another at f2 and the difference f1 minus f2 this this value is called the bandwidth then what is quality factor q the sharpness of resonance can be calculated um, like this omega r l divided by uh, r where omega r is called the angular frequency at resonance l is called the inductance of the inductor and r is called the resistance and that is equal to twice by f r l divided by r and all these are known values f r value you can get from the frequency response graph l value that is the value of the inductor it is from the sort given circuit and r is the resistance you use in the experiment so uh, putting these values you can calculate the quality factor or sharpness of resonance you can also find out the sharpness of resonance from the expression q is equal to 1 by omega r c in terms of r and c you can also find out the quality factor or 1 by twice by fr into rc putting this value of fr r and c from the given experiment you can calculate the sharpness of resonance or quality factor and this equation we have deduced in a separate video now let us see how you will do the experiment you see this is the series resonant apparatus with inbuilt sine wave uh, oscillator this is your lcr you connect the resistor inductor and capacitor in this socket this is the capacitor circuit this is this is the uh, socket for the voltmeter you connect voltmeter here and you connect milliammeter here this is the socket for the milliammeter and uh, you see in this board you have a voltmeter of 3 volt and a milliammeter of 25 milliampere and uh, you see this is the socket for the um, capacitor you have different values of capacitor in microfarad you see 0.1 to 0.33 microfarad and this is the socket for the output resistance which is from 50 ohm to 200 ohm and you connect the resistance to the resistance socket in the lcr circuit and connect your capacitor value to the capacitor uh, socket in the lcr series circuit now let us see i am connecting the capacitor i have taken a capacitance of 0.1 microfarad and i am connecting the two terminals of the capacitor to the two sockets in lcr circuit you see these are the two sockets in lcr circuit for the capacitor and now i am connecting the resistor i am connecting the resistor to the resistor socket i have taken 50 ohm resistance for the first experiment you see i am connecting the resistance then i am connecting the milliammeter you see i am connecting the milliammeter which is connected in series to the lcr circuit now i am connecting the other terminal of the milliammeter in the board you see now i will connect the voltmeter i am connecting the voltmeter in the board other terminal of the voltmeter i am connecting to the voltmeter okay now i will connect the sine wave oscillator you see you have two terminals for the audio frequency sine wave output and you have 
the input signal you have to given the input signal in the lcr circuit this is the output of the audio frequency signal and this is the input of the signal so now you connect the audio frequency signal to the lcr circuit i am i am connecting the two terminals of the audio frequency signal to the lcr circuit now the connection is over you see you have a set amplitude you have a set amplitude to set the potential you basically take this is a frequency selection switch this is uh, a frequency selection switch from 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz and this is for the fine adjustment and you can change the frequency this is 1 2 3 means multiple of 100 if you take 1 it is 100 hertz if you take 2 it is 200 hertz if the switch is at 100 then if you take 3 it is 300 hertz but if you take the switch to suppose 1 kilo ohm this is 1 kilo ohm then it will be 3 kilo uh, sorry 3 hertz 3 kilo hertz if the switch is at 1 kilo hertz then this will be if it is at 1 it is 1 kilo hertz like this now you see what you will do uh, i have taken here the fine adjustment i have taken in one and i have taken the coarse adjustment of the frequency selector at uh, also 100 and now you increase the frequency initially you increase the frequency then see how the current is changing if you take uh initially if you take 100 at 100 you fast increase the frequency and you see the current changing changes in the millimeter then you take the fine adjustment switch to zero and you change the coarse adjustment frequency to 1 kilo ohm uh, sorry 1 kilo hertz then increase the fine adjustment then you increase the fine adjustment switch and see the how the current is changing okay you have to plot a graph taking frequency these frequencies values and the corresponding current you see i am increasing the frequency and the current is increasing and at a particular point it is maximum then it is decreasing you see then the current is decreasing okay then you take the fine adjustment switch to one position and change the coarse adjustment to 10k i have taken to 10k then you increase the fine adjustment you see again it is decreasing as i have discussed the frequency pass when increases the current fast increases then it will uh, it will decrease and from these frequency and current values you plot a graph if you plot a graph then the graph nature of the graph will be as i have discussed and you, you can also change the uh, resistance value you can change the resistance value and the capacitance value for different frequency response curve but you cannot change the l value here because l value the inductor value is fixed you can change this capacitor value you have three capacitance but you cannot change the l value and you have to make a table taking frequency f in hertz and relative current i in milliampere and the frequency range here i, I have in this experiment taken 100 hertz to uh, 100 kilohertz and the current range from 0 ampere to 
ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली एम्पियर एंड द नेचर ऑफ द ग्राफ शुड बी लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू टेक और रिपीट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट विद डिफरेंट वैल्यू ऑफ आर you repeat this you can also uh, repeat this experiment with, with a different value of c that is capacitance value in this experiment you have three capacitors uh, capacitors and uh, various resistors so you can do or practice this experiment thank you the value of voltage is 5 volt you see not 3 volt and another thing in the experiment you should set amplitude to 3 volt 